before we begin, I just wanted to put a disclaimer first. I am not a vet. I am not claiming to be an expert on this. I am simply sharing my opinion from my own experience in going all natural. And I am not forcing anyone, I'm not trying to convince anyone to follow what I do. Or I'm not even claiming that what I am doing is right. But for me, it works for us so far. And I don't see anything wrong if it's doing good for my girls, most especially. So hi and welcome back to the channel. These are my two toy poodles, Summer and Bay. And my name is Erica again, the Poodle Mom. For this video, we're going to be talking about dog chews, especially the ones containing so it's a bit controversial and we will be sharing with you our opinion on this. We're not experts whatsoever, but we hope you'll stick around. Okay, we'll see you guys in a bit. Any vet, uh, any uh, holistic vet, and any vet who supports all natural, and any book slash um, articles online that you will see will always say that if you feed bone, the only safest one to give your dog is a raw bone. So I also give them the raw bones and my girls actually love it. This is just my opinion. I don't like it very much because it's very, very messy. They will take it everywhere in the house. And my gosh, I got the scolding of a lifetime. They carried it on top of the sofa <laughs> and their beds. So yeah, not gonna happen again. So why is raw bone safe? It's because it's the only type that does not splinter. Now, you would also find there that it's never ever 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 safe to give cooked bone so when I do prepare their meals I never give cooked bone that's where the big question comes in what are these all natural chews that are being marketed now and are going all over the market are there options if you can't give raw because I already expressed myself that I am not a big fan of giving the raw bones because they get messy so, yes, there are options. Of course, I give them natural dog treats and natural, specifically natural dog chews. Most especially for baby. Because one, she has bad breath. Two, she, compared to summer, she easily builds up dark. So, I, I always make sure that she has something to gnaw on at least once or not once a day, but maybe three to five times a week. She always has has something. It's just to help um, clean up her. I will be discussing what I give them and maybe the common concerns uh, when giving them. These are what I commonly give the girls. And I'll briefly discuss them one by one. Let's start with the least scary one. So this is a pork ear that's been air dry. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry. So this is an air dried pork ear strip. The common concern with this is uh, if it gets wet, it tends to become slippery. And if your dog does not chew, then they can still choke on it because they will immediately swallow it and it could get stuck here if they did not chew on it properly first. Okay, this is another one of their favorites and I always, always give them this at least once a day. This is an air-dried chicken feed. Is it cooked? No, it's not. It's air-dried. People are concerned about it splintering, but from what I know, uh, dehydrated bone, air dried bones. Um, if done properly, the bones 
pulverize. Meaning it's it does not it will not splinter. I also give them duck feet. So this also has bone, much like the chicken feet. I also give them this is a raw air dried duck neck. They love this, but I only give this occasionally. Not because it's not good for them, but because it can get messy. So I only give it to them when they're inside my room and they can't take it elsewhere because my mom will murder me if they show on this on the sofa again. To emphasize that I actually give bone, so I do give them actual bones that they can chew on. This is dehydrated bone. I got this from Thailand. Okay. And then, I think it would be unfair to only discuss natural treats. So I do, I do give them commercial um, treats, but only usually the dentist sticks. Sorry, I don't know how to call it. And I'm not um, naming names or trying to destroy any brand. It's merely for explanation purposes. So I cannot, I couldn't find, like I said, I don't buy them anymore. So the only one I could find is this. I'm really, really sorry, it's so small. It's supposed to be longer than this. It's about that long. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. And I'll show a picture here on this side so yeah it's supposed to be longer now um, I think vets in general are um, apprehensive a little bit apprehensive about giving your dogs chews because of the factor of choking uh, again it's it really depends on you in my opinion whether it's a commercial treat like this or a commercial chew or a natural chew like this, your dog can still choke on these. Hmm. Rather than giving a yes or a no, let me explain to you my take on it. Let's first talk about what it's called. Take it from the word. Dog. Chew. What does, the, what does chewing mean? In Filipino, pagmuya, meaning you gnaw on it before swallowing. Dog chew. Now, the question that we get often is do you give your small dogs uh, chews like this? It's it safe to give it to them. Is it safe to give a chihuahua? Is it safe to give a husky? Is it safe to give a large breed this kind of treat or chew? Is it safe to do this? Is it safe to do that? But let's go back to what I was saying earlier. It's a dog chew. I think what's more important than size or the breed of the dog is to find out if your dog is either a chewer or a swallower, it doesn't matter what breed or what size they are. I think it's more important for you to know if your dog, I mean, to know your dog's personality. If you're gonna give a dog to, to a dog who swallows, do you think that's a match? I don't think so. I would give a dog who chews a dog chew because I know that the dog, for a fact, will chew on it before swallowing. Why would you give a dog who loves to swallow a dog chew? Of course, they will gulp it all up and that's where the choking happens. Let's compare it to a human. I mentioned earlier that my sister choked on a chicken bone before, but that did not stop my mom from giving her chicken because chicken is good for you, right? Um, you just have to be careful. It's like a human eating fish. And fish has bones that can easily get stuck in the throat of humans, right? But nonetheless, people still eat fish because 
it's not only is it good for you, but it's it's yummy too. And it's not always that you know you get um, you get bone stuck. But more than that, it's you being careful. So yeah, that's basically um, that's my take on it. I think it's very important for you guys to find out if your dogs are chewers or swallowers because that's that's the deciding factor. And there are ways to work around it. If you're scared or if, let's say, you, d you don't know the personality of your dog, you can have options like you can buy, let's say, bigger bones that will make sure that um, they're not going to be able to swallow it. I think the proportion should be, uh, the size of the head of your dog should be equal to the size of the bone that you're going to get them. I think that's the... If I remember correctly from the books that I read, feel free to search on it online. Or another option is if you have something small like this, you can hold it out and don't let go. Let the dog chew on it first. That's how I started out with Bailey. Bailey used to be a swallower when she was a puppy, but I made sure to teach her how to chew on things. If you think that it's only the bone that can choke your dog, think again. Because like I said, I used to give my dogs dentist sticks as well. Now, Summer has this bad, bad habit of once the chew gets this small, whether it's soft or not, the mere fact that she gets saliva on this, it gets really slippery. So she has the tendency of getting lazy because she is Miss Tamante. She will just swallow it. And there was one time that it got stuck in her throat. Like she, I think she gulped it too fast and she was not ready. So she was almost choking and I had to rush her to the bed. That's exactly my point that, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of chew you give your dog. There's always, always, always that uh, risk of choking. And, you know, it's your responsibility. It, it, I take it as my responsibility because I made that decision. I made that choice to give it to them. I will not blame it on anyone. I will not blame it on the tree. It's... That's the thing. If there's something wrong that happens, we always have the tendency to point to other people and never point to ourselves. So, you know, um, I make sure what I give them, I know what it is. And so I will take full responsibility for whatever it is that I give them. And for that, even if she choked on the dentist sticks, I still give it to her occasionally. But I take precautionary measures, meaning once it gets this small, I take it away from her. So I hope that kind of gives you an idea or maybe gives you a different perspective on this these things. To me, it's not the bone that matters, it's not the kind of treat that matters, it's not the size of the dog, it's not uh, the, uh, the breed. What's more important is know your dogs. Please. You'll know, you'll, you'll find a way to find out whether they're chewers or swallowers, and you will find the right food, the right treats for them. With information, Technology and uh, information, these these things on the internet, these things on the internet, they're both a blessing and a curse. Uh, sometimes knowing too much can also be bad for you because you get driven by fear. I have that habit of self-diagnosing myself, most especially my dogs. So I end up na para paneneng ako lage. Kaya yon. I guess uh, it, it does take courage, but you know, I weigh the pros and cons also. Like, if the benefits weigh out the, let's say, the consequences, then I don't think it hurts to try. I, I, I really do. Um, also, life's too short to worry too much. So, yeah, I hope, you know, it helped 
you uh, look at it from a different perspective. And I hope the information that I shared made sense even just a little bit. And I hope it helps you um, become a better pet parent. I know, I know. Here we go. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you really en we hope you enjoy that. And we'll see you guys in the next video. your chicken feet. See? She chews on it.